Hello everyone, this is Blueback Houston again. Welcome to this toolbox how to video where we're going through two toolbox tools, set image coordinates and image file loaded as 2D seismic. And we'll also have a quick look at flip 2D seismic. Set image coordinates is a tool that enables you to quickly locate an image file in space by referencing to two known points. And this is applicable when you want to do a fast georeferencing of a map file into Petrel. And that could be scanned maps, bitmap files from reports, etc. Image file loaded as 2D seismic is a tool or a import format that enables you to import an image file in 2D seismic format. This is applicable when you want to do a fast georeferencing of cross-section image file in Petrel, for example, scanned paper seismic, geological and structural profiles, etc. And it also facilitates seismic interpretation of structures from these image files. In the demo in a second, you will see how we quickly reference a paper seismic base map to two known reference points. And then we will import a paper seismic section as a 2D seismic format into Petrel, and then we will quickly flip this seismic section laterally. So I have scanned my paper seismic base map and my paper seismic section into digital format that is now ready to import to my Petrel project. So now I want to import my base map. I go to the import menu, select the standard Petrel bitmap image format, and select my map. Here I've got the bitmap file that I now want to reference in space. I go to my Marina menu, where I find my Set Image Coordinates tool. And here, the first thing I do is to select the bitmap file that I want to reference. Here it is. And then I need to select two points that are located in my Petrel project and on the map as well, so I've got my two wells, well one and well two in my Petrel project. And I've got my well one and well two drawn on the map as well. So for position number one, I select well one. Position number two, I select well number two. And then I need to locate these positions on the map. So first I locate my well number one and my well number two and look at the format here when I hit apply I can now display my paper seismic base map in space but I didn't do a very good job I didn't I wasn't very precise so I can go over here in my menu zoom in and place my well number one a bit more accurate the same for well number two like this and you should now see that it's adjusted itself i could also go ahead and assign a depth to my seismic map like this The next thing I want to do is that I want to import my seismic paper section. And I know that that lies along this line. It's this line that's drawn on my base map. So the first thing I need to do is to digitize a polygon along this line. So I'll go ahead and do that a little bit fast for demoing purposes. So now I've got the polygon, it is active. So now I'll go to the import menu again. And this time I select the 
image file loaded as 2D seismic, which is a import format you get available when you install the project management toolbox. So I'll select my paper seismic file, open, and then I assign the depth interval that I know my seismic is covering. And now you see that I've got my seismic imported and I can display it like this. And now I discover that I accidentally imported my seismic file flipped in the wrong direction. So I go back to my Marina menu. I go up and I find the tool in the geophysics toolbox called flipped 2D, flipped 2D seismic. I select my 2D seismic file and where you can flip horizontally or vertically. I flip it horizontally, say OK. And now you see I've got a copy with the extension flipped like this. I can now go ahead and do seismic interpretation of this file. Of course, I can only do manual interpretation since this is still a bitmap. It contains no amplitude information. I can go ahead and do my seismic interpretation. Just like this. Go back to my 3D window and display. Just like that. Thank you very much for watching.